When working with decorative threads, it's amazing that how a serger can accommodate a thread that's much thicker than you would ever put in your sewing machine needle. And that's because these threads don't go through the needles at all, they go through the loopers. So anytime that you work with decorative threads, you can use either the upper looper, or you could get two spools and put it through both the upper looper or the lower looper. These eyes on the loopers are actually quite big, so they can accommodate up to one eighth of an inch ribbon. I have done that with a serger. It's amazing. Now this thread that I have in my hand is actually a uh, Razzle Dazzle um, created by Ricky Timms and you can get it from Superior Threads. And I love to use this in the serger because I can even put some of this in the serger and just serge like a rolled hem and it makes the most beautiful chain that I've even couched. And uh, there's, there's so many things that we can do. What I'm going to show you is a wide three thread that we did and this was just stitched on some fabric that we then wove together. And since I knew I wouldn't be seeing the underneath edge unless somebody peeked underneath like I am showing you, the thread that's in the lower looper is just a matching thread of a normal thickness. So I only needed one spool to actually create this whole entire uh, piece or one actual spool. I didn't need to put it in both the upper and the lower looper. But let's think about this for a second. If you put something really thick through the upper looper tension, what are we gonna need to do? Well, if you think about it, it just needs more plain room here. So if your tension is normally at four for regular thread, to give it a little bit more room, you're just gonna need to open up those tensions a little bit for a looser tension. And so going down to two, maybe even to one. Now, if you get all the way to one and still not getting the results, Keep in mind that the loopers play tug of war. So by increasing the opposite one a little bit, that would make this one looser yet, and as this is pull, helping pull it around. So it's a balancing act, just like um, a, a set of scales. As you put heavier, heavier stuff on one side, you can take off from the other side to help make it um, be uneven and or for example, balanced out as we go. So I'll just start by turning that a little bit looser. I'll put this back to normal until I do a quick couple runs. Plus, we can tie on decorative threads. A little easier to tie on and pull through. The knots mostly will go through the eye of the loopers, but they might need a little help at the end if, if necessary. So I'm gonna start by just taking my thread and putting it on the upper looper. If I need a thread, um, a little thread um, disc to hold it in place, I can reach for that. Mostly with this, I don't worry about it. Now, I did leave myself a lot of tail to um, tie onto, so I'm gonna have to kind of put it through the top here. There we go, and then tie it on kind of more in front. Remember, just put your two ends together, tie an overhand knot. There we go. And if you have some extra length here, you're welcome to kind of trim that down, maybe half inch or so past the knot. Now, a lot of times I'll lift up my presser foot and get a hold of the chain and just help it kind of pull through here. Once I kind of get this coming, usually I'll pull out and then snip my threads. And then I can just kind of pull each individual one. Uh, here's the one with the decorative thread. You can see it going through all the guides and it's right there at that upper looper. Ah, just give it a little help and it'll pull right on through. Okay, so we are threaded now and we have the very loose, loose tension. We've taken out the right needle so that way it is a wide three thread that we're stitching. And if you wanna get it nice and condensed, you can go ahead and shorten the stitch length. And often what I'll do too, is I'll just snip the threads. That way I can make sure I'm not wasting a lot of it. Okay, so that's how it can look right along the edge. If you see any of the lower looper creeping forward, again, that's where we can kind of um, tighten that up so it goes around to the backside. But look how fun that could be, putting a decorative edge along your fabric.